Rates are, you know, kind of steady. I mean, yeah. I've been looking today where, I mean, it's up a little bit better one day, a little bit worse the next day, but no major swings lately. We're still waiting for the Fed to come out and raise short-term interest rates. Right. And because um, we need them to, that will help rate, lower the, the actual mortgages. The you know, the rates. Rate. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because it's funny, I was talking to a financial planner, a young guy, and he's like, well, the Fed's going to be raising again. So that's going to affect my rate. I'm thinking, don't you know your own market? You should know mortgage back security <laughs> and all that yeah. stuff, how that is affected. Yeah. Twice well, a, things are still blowing off the shelves in, in certain price ranges. Um, you know, the the FHA price ranges are there. It's a busy, busy market. The higher price ranges yeah, are, are you know, slowing down a little bit, but I mean, it's only a little bit from seven days to like 14 to 17 days on the market. If you price, right. It's, you know, it's a good market. And that's, that's, great. that's a great market that way. We're yeah. not overpaying and we're not, and you're not, you know, inflation is the, you know, with the inflation out there right now at 9%, you need to own a home because that's the one thing that you can control. Get your payment at a certain number and control that. And when rates go down, right. refinance it and get even lower. 